Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here talking to you guys over a little bit of a tutorial today. Today's tutorial is another uh, section of the How To Twitch series. It's going to be showing you guys how to start streaming Minecraft Pocket Edition. And this is going to have a couple of requirements. First of all, it's going to be requiring a computer of some sort. Now, the benefit of streaming Minecraft Pocket Edition is that you don't need to run Minecraft while you're trying to process those frames and stream them. So some of the uh, processing and computer power is going to be on the uh, device that you're using. In this case, we're going to be using an Android device, but in the future, I will show you guys how to do this with an iOS device and a Mac computer. So you guys can also subscribe for that if you're more interested in that. But today we're going to be using an Android device. For today, we're going to try and get from having a stream that looks something like this to get your stream to look something like this. So like I said, this is gonna be on an Android tablet here, so I have this, and you can also use any Android phone or tablet that is 4.2 or higher, so that's gonna be from a long time until now. The only thing that you really need to be able to do is run Minecraft on your tablet, which is relatively easy to do, so most tablets should be able to do it, and uh, as you guys can see, it looks pretty good. There is also other quality settings so that we could jump up the quality, but we'll talk about that later. But anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So in order to do this today, you're really only going to need to uh, install one thing, and it's going to be a Chrome extension. So all you guys need to do is go to the Chrome store, I'll leave a link to it in the description, and download the extension called Visor, V-Y-S-O-R. You're going to open this guy up, you're going to install it, and basically what it's going to do is it's going to launch this little app that's going to be on your computer. The app is going to look something like this. So this is the tablet here, guys. As you guys can see, I'm in the Android Play Store, and all you're going to need to do is install this app called Visor Android control on PC uh, it's the first thing that comes up and again like I mentioned you really don't need to install it it's just something that makes it a little bit easier to walk through the steps that I'm about to do with you so pretty much the first screen is just a welcome screen the second screen is an enable USB debugging mode so it offers a tutorial here as well pretty much all you need to do is go into your Android settings here you're gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom where it's gonna say developer options down there uh, additionally if it does not say that you're gonna need to go into about tablet you're going to need to go over here into the build number and you're going to have to tap this several times. You're going to keep on tapping it until it eventually says you are a developer. Right now I'm already a developer. Then at that point you'll see these developer options here. You're going to go in, scroll all the way down here to where it says USB debugging. You can see at the top of my screen right now it says USB debugging and it's checked right there. All you guys are going to need to do is check mark that and then plug in your, your tablet with USB. Uh, it's either going to use like micro USB or USB Type-C or anything like that, you just plug it into your computer that you already have Visor installed on. So once you guys have enabled developer mode and then enabled the debug mode, all you guys are going to need to do is go to your computer and launch Visor. So I have it closed right now. Pretty much once you launch it, it's going to try and look for devices that are plugged into your computer that have that debug mode enabled. So you need to have that enabled. Uh, it'll also offer you all of the different options here. So what type of bitrate you'd like to transfer at. You can go to a higher bitrate, but it will be a little bit laggier. So you might need a more uh, new or updated device. Anything that probably has like a Snapdragon 810 or 8. 20 you're going to be good with but uh, I just kept it low for you know quality sake making sure everything was running snappy additionally you do have this share all devices option this is a pro feature that exists um, in the visor settings here so you guys can actually go pro I believe it's like uh, two dollars a month or something like that or forty dollars for a lifetime so you guys can decide whether to do that I think it also unlocks some more quality settings as well but really great option if you guys are going to be doing a lot of streaming or things like that otherwise you can just stick with the free version it'll work and do everything that you need it to. Once you see that your device is here, pretty much you can just click view. It's going to start to connect here. And as you guys can see, uh, it will prompt you with this connection screen. So the way that you're going to set up the display capture here is for uh, my situation right now, I'm taking the visor window and I'm moving it over to my second monitor. So I'm going to move it over to the second monitor over here. And that's how I'm going to have mine set up. You guys, if you only have one monitor, we'll set it up a little bit differently. I explain how pretty much you're just going to create a new layer in your OBS here. You're going to go to add and display capture. All you need to do is call it something relevant like MC PE, hit enter, and then at that point, all you guys are going to need to do is select which monitor you want. I want my display one, which is really the second monitor. You guys will most likely want to have a display zero. But that being said, this is how I'm going to set up mine. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit just so I can work with the whole thing a little bit easier. And all you guys are going to do is use these little red dots that are around the monitor 
and or the, the display capture and just shrink it a little bit. So you just wanna make sure that you cut out all of the borders of the visor window that you do not want. So I'm gonna cut out at the top there, a little bit of the right side, just a little bit more, a little bit of the left side and make sure that you, know, you guys can spend a little bit more time on this to make it a little bit more precise. I really don't mind if it's precise or not. And pretty much there you go. So this is how uh, you know I'm gonna set up mine. I can then expand it a little bit. So using the OBS, I can just make it a little bit bigger, expand that out there. You're gonna put your face cam on top of that and your overlay on top of all of those. And that's pretty much how it works for the actual stream settings. You guys can go check out my how-to Twitch playlist. I have the best possible stream settings for OBS there, as well as a bunch of other cool stuff. How to uh, have the chat overlay in your game, how to have a bunch of different bots and things like that you're gonna use, how to accept donations and all that. Additionally, like I mentioned, I will be doing a iOS version of this. So if you guys have an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod that you guys wanna use in order to do this, this, I will be demonstrating how to do that as well. So make sure you guys subscribe down below as well as slam the like button on this video if you want to see more stuff like this. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm the doctor and I'm out.